So John, this is the famous, maybe notorious Enigma machine. Yes, this is the problem that the British codebreakers faced in World War II. Nazi Germany used the Enigma machine for almost every radio communication. The British were really good at picking up the radio transmissions, but unfortunately, to figure out what was going on, they needed to crack the code, they needed to break the cipher. And this set the code for every day. The machine could be set up differently every day, and most parts of the German forces changed daily. So you have to set your code, there's 159 million, million, million different possible permutations. So if you wanted to be sure you were going to crack the code, you would need 159 million, million, million operators, with a, each with a machine. Exactly. So that's impossible. Exactly. Which is why we need to go over here and have a look at this. Its full name is the Turing Welshman Bomb. Credit to Alan Turing and Gordon Welshman, two brilliant Cambridge University mathematicians whose ideas are embedded in the machine here. But Turing and co, they decided to automate the process. Huge number of messages flowing about. They wanted to crack a huge number of messages and to deal with the volume, they could not have done it without automation. As I say, that's where this machine comes in. Now what's happening now the machine is going through all the different possible wheel settings of an Enigma. Right. Each of those drums represents one of those wheels that you saw inside the Enigma. Yep. So we're basically trying every combination and, and doing it several times in parallel. And doing that by hand would be completely impossible. Yes, exactly. So from when you detected the first code of the uh, first transmission of the day, the Enigma was reset at midnight. Yep. To when you crack the code for that day, what was the average length of time? I don't know what the average was, but the best was about one and a half hours. Wow, okay. So and for one and a half hours each day, you didn't know what was going on? Many of this stuff wasn't broken at all. Oh. Okay, so at the end of all this, on each day, you might crack 20 out of the 50 networks that were operating. Wow. Oh, I didn't ever realize that. I thought oh, once no, they it's got not, the... not a complete blanket of everything. Oh. There were maybe 20 networks out of the 50 that were in use that were cracked each day. Tops.